I know that we had a lot of problems with squash bugs and squash vine borer, and this happens every year because we plant squash every year. So it's a good time to think about it now, what we're gonna plant, what varieties, and where we're gonna plant it. We wanna practice crop rotation, so we don't wanna put our squash in the same place that it was last year or even the year before. If your garden's big enough, move it somewhere else. That could minimize the chances of the population just coming alive because a lot of them will overwinter either in their soil or in the leaf litter. So you wanna move that a little bit away. Also think about those varieties that you're planting. There are some that are more resistant to both of these critters. You can also consider planting a trap crop. Research has shown that blue Hubbard squash is highly attractive to both of these bugs. And so if you plant that on the outside of your garden or around the perimeter, maybe those bugs will go to that trap crop and not go to your most valuable harvest and crop. And those blue Hubbard squash, if they do get trapped there, you may wanna treat those plants only. Another thing you can do is install row covers. So row covers, are just fabric that go over top of those plants and they will protect from insects flying in. The problem with that is that squash plants do need pollinators to pollinate those flowers. So what you may have to do for that is hand pollinate by using a Q-tip or a brush and taking the pollen from the male flowers to the female flowers or you can just remove those row covers during the day when those plants are blooming. So that is something to think about in a way that you can protect your plants. Another thing you wanna think about is when these plants are growing, you wanna check on them. You wanna monitor and scout for these critters. The squash bugs overwinter as adults, and so check under those planters and in those hiding spots. When you see them, hand pick them off or vacuum them up or just take them out. Squash vine borer is a moth. It starts flying around and feeding on flowers. It's actually a pollinator as an adult. When you start to see them, that's when you wanna go and check your plants. You wanna look for those eggs at least once a week and remove them. Pick them off, scratch them off, cut them out. And that includes for the squash bugs and the squash vine borers. Squash bugs, they lay their red color eggs in clusters, so pick those off. Do that once a week because both of these pests their eggs hatch every 10 days. So if you can keep on top of that, you can keep those populations down and hopefully you'll have a really great year of squash.